Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. It's not what they're trying to draw, but they're using it as a demo. He's having trouble with the Smart Fill tool bleeding. If uh, you watch the video when he took, he'd already filled in these. When he filled in that, look at the bounding box. It actually filled in some more. The only thing I can see that could be causing a problem, and I don't think it should, he specified on like an orange, but he's also specified putting a hairline in yellow. You don't need to do that with a smart fill tool. I'm going to set your nudge factor on 10. I actually set your duplicate distance on zero, zero. The way I would do it is I would zoom in and I'm going to smart fill these little parts first. See, I've changed. I'm going to change it back. I changed it just to try. I'm going to change it to no outline and a fill. So I'm going to do all the little pieces first. And you can see that they're not bleeding. And now I think I can do the larger pieces. And when you nudge it over, whoop, I missed the spot. You'll be able to tell. You know uh, what you're missing. And now you should have individual parts. He's going to cut this out of a near. He's not going to cut this out. He strongly mentioned that. But this way you have individual parts to cut it out of a near, and then you would put it in whatever order. And uh, I would write, for the person I'm helping, I would really like to see uh, what you're going to actually do. And if you're having a problem with that, I'd like to see that. So try turning off your smart fill tool outline. And you can also, I had it there set before, another way you could do it, you could set this on no outline, no fill, I mean, and set this on 2.25 points. And you could, because this black is filled in, this would be another safe way. The only thing, kind of, well, not really wrong with this. you got to be careful uh, when you're doubling up lines like this that you get them all because uh, sometimes it's going to look like it's been done and it's not because you've built red lines on all places. So what you can do in this case is, let me get move this out of the way. Move this. There's one from earlier. Move this out of the way and then nudge this out of the way. And just kind of see if you've gotten all the part. Because what I'm afraid of, if you use the smart fill tool, let's watch what happens when we move that. See, that piece has not been created because it looks like it's been created. So you'd have to take the smart fill tool and create that little number. And it's so little that it's the outline is too big. And then what you could do is take it all and change it to a hairline and then try cutting that out. Of course, he's not actually going to cut that out. Um, he's going to, you know, cut out something else. But that is going to, I think that's going to solve your problem. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.